Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It is Easter morning about 8.30, so happy Easter to everyone out there. If you don't celebrate Easter, um, I apologize, just um, ignore the last 20 seconds. So, today we are going to be making a new recipe. So this is actually one that I have never tried to make before. So we're just sort of winging it and um, kind of hoping it turns out well. I am currently exactly four weeks out from my neck being my second show and then five weeks out from my third show. So I'm kind of pumped about that. This is more or less of a cheat day. I'm still staying in my calorie range, but I don't have to stick to like exact foods. So I'm just sort of like enjoying life a little bit and I want to experiment in the kitchen a little bit, have a little bit of fun. So, um, we're going to be making chocolate blueberry ice cream cake or ice cream gobs. So, um, yeah, like I said, I've never tried to make these before. I was just sitting down last night, watched TV, running some ideas through my head. And this came across my head. I was like, man, I could really make this, make this work. But again, I don't want to get too crazy with my calories yesterday. And, um, it was getting late at that point and I was ready to go to bed anyways. So um, without further ado, I'll go ahead and go into the next clip and show you guys how to make the um, the outside layers, I guess the buns for the ice cream cakes, ice cream gobs. All right, so right here we have our weight scale set up with our mixing bowl and we got our whisk. We are going to need a total of five servings of liquid egg whites. So that will come out to 230 grams of liquid egg whites. And believe me, that ends up quick. Be cautious right at the end. Yeah. It's teetering back and forth between the 31 and 30, so I think we're close enough. All right, so now we're going to add in some Hershey's Zero Sugar Chocolate Syrup. It's five calories per tablespoon, so I mean, come on, it's, you're not really adding that much calories to it. So we're going to add in three servings, so it'll be 45 grams. Perfect. All right, so I need to grab a spoon for the next ingredient. All right, so we're gonna add in one serving of a no sugar added cocoa powder. So we need to put five grams in. Yeah, perfect. Now, of course, with all this zero sugar uh, chocolate put in there, of course, it's not going to be sweet enough, so we had to have to add some artificial sweetener. I'm using a pure sucralose powder. You can use any sort of artificial sweetener. This is just a lot more condensed, and we buy it in bulk a little bit cheaper. One eighth of a teaspoon is equivalent to one cup of sugar and sweetness. So I'm just going to add in an eighth of a teaspoon. So if you're using any sort of other sweetener or straight up sugar, just add um, however much you want to add for the sweetness. Just know that I added basically the equivalent of one cup of sugar. Put that out of the way and then we will get to mixing this mixture up. And this stuff, the cocoa powder, does not like mixing. So make sure you have a whisk and not a fork.
right? And I believe that's all the better she's going to get right now. My God, does that taste good? Just to make sure you can taste all the chalkiness in it. So the next step is to get bread. So right here, I will be using the Schmidt 647. It has half the calories of your normal bread. And basically double the fiber, which is where you lose the calories in it. So. We're going to need four slices in total. The nice thing too, in the meantime, while you're cooking up or mixing up this mixture for your buns, Heat up the pan, that way whenever you put it on there, it already starts to sear it. Uh, make sure you put a little bit of spray down. Pam, it says zero calories, but it does contain calories, so you just want to make like a quick spray. And that's all the more you need if you have a good pan. Put that down. And just like the French toast, just slather it all down in there. My God, does this look good? Now, if you really wanted to, you could cook this up the way it is and just eat it as basically chocolate French toast. And I'm sure it would taste amazing. Um, we are going to go a step further though with this in the next clip. Um, if you guys don't know how to cook French toast, then I, I mean, you really shouldn't be going any further than this anyway. So um, go back to another video I have of my like, blueberry French toast or all my meal prep videos. And I show you exactly how to cook the French toast. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here while this cooks up. And I will bring you back whenever we are going to make the filling for the ice cream center all right guys so a slight intermission um the french toast is finished cooking up and i mean tell me this does not look good I mean, it's still steaming it's still hot just a nice chocolatey piece of basically french toast that we're going to use as the buns that way we're getting our proteins in and um with this type of bread keeping our fiber high and the calories low so um I'm going to let these cool off, put them in the freezer, let that way whenever you put the other mixture on there, it keeps it thick and allows it to freeze. So, um, yeah, let these cool off for a bit, put them in the freezer, let them get nice and cold before you go to the next part. All right, I am in a bit of a crammed area, so I'm going to try to stay out of the way so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I apologize about the blender noise. It's going to get a little bit loud. But it's not going to be like enough time. No, I might be able to edit, edit it out. I'm going to give it a shot. Anyways, that way your ears aren't completely fried after I fire that thing up. So we're going to need about roughly about a cup, a cup and a half of ice. If you want to make more filling, you can just add more ice so you don't have to add more calories. But make sure that all of it will fit into your blender bottle. I'm just using the small, small one since I'm making two of these. Um, you're going to want to shred up the ice first a little bit. Just pop that down on there and we'll give her a good pulse. snowy mixture we're going to add in our ingredients so we're going to start off with a whole serving of 
Greek yogurt. So it would be 170 grams. Now just minus that from the food scale. Alright, then after the Greek yogurt, everything else I have weighed and measured out. So, we have, in this I have half a serving of a chocolate protein. This is a chocolate cookie blast. Um, I have 4 grams of xanthan gum. And then I have my sucralose, the same. I equivalent out to about a cup of sugar, a cup of sweetener. So I use an eighth of a teaspoon of my powdered. I'm just going to put that in. After that, we have half a serving of blueberries. The blueberries, for some reason, just add like a creaminess to any anything to use the xanthan gum with, which is why I'm using them. You really don't have to use them. So I definitely enjoy them. Then after that, you're going to, want to get an unsweetened almond milk and use a quarter cup of it. Quarter cup of almond milk. Now to make this even more chocolatey, the same thing we did with the French toast. We're going to add in four servings of our sugar-free Hershey's chocolate syrup. So that would be 60 grams. Oh, I guess I should weigh it out first, huh? 60 grams. Let's put this back with a blender and blend it up. You might have to stop it and scrape the sides down with like a um, butter knife or a squeegee or something. Just get everything mixed up together nicely. It's going to take a little bit, so I might fast forward or um, just clip this part of the video out. consistency you can still see it's kind of runny so what I want to do is all my little bowls I have out here actually lay it out Put 200 grams in each bowl. All right, they're 200 grams. I'm gonna put these in the freezer, let them thicken up nicely. 
and get pretty pretty chunky. It's probably gonna take a good 30, 30 minutes or so, at least for these that they can upright. So whenever those get thickened up, I will be back to show you how we're going to put them together. Alright, so we are back. It's thickened up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything onto the buns. And then put them back in the freezer again. And allow them to thicken up until I'm ready to eat them. Of course, probably not let them sit too long. Because the ice cream will actually get like rock solid. So... Um, I'm just going to simply try to stay out, keep my arms out of the way. But, um, put all of that onto there. Let these sit out for too long because this ice cream will fall quick as well. Look at that <clears throat> amount of filling that we have for the ice cream. So, like I said, I'm going to put these back into the freezer, let it thicken up some more, and then I'll dig into them later on. But give me a second here, and then I'll go over the macros with you. So, I'll make it look nice and pretty before I put it back in the freezer. There you go. Ice cream sandwich. So, for, or per each sandwich, you can make exactly how I did it. You come up with, um, i written down here, 252 calories per sandwich. So, and for the whole, for both of them, you have 504 calories. It's not bad at all. Per sandwich, you have 44.6 grams of carbs, 2.5 grams of fat, and 30.9 grams of protein. Um, you can... Make sore, make um, all sorts of changes to this if you want to make it higher calorie. You can use like a Halo Top ice cream in there as well. You can use a regular ice cream, Ben and Jerry's if you really want to bulk and put on some weight. Um, you can really do whatever with it. But that is the sandwiches I made. They're nice, low calorie. Keep you in your diet. And by all means, that's going to fill you up. I mean, there's there's a lot of volume there, so... Um, if you guys want some more videos like this, comment down below. I can make usually anything on a whim. Like I said, this was just like some, something I had an idea of last night. Um, I'm sure I could come up with something better for the filling as well. Um, not saying that this isn't good, but I could probably make different fillings and it would turn out just as well. I mean... It's all, it's all about just going into the kitchen and having like a basic understanding and experimenting. Have a little bit of fun. I mean, if you mess up, you mess up, throw it away and start over from scratch again. So, um, again, happy Easter to everyone out there. And um, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.